Hey, welcome to this next video in the HTL Bits series. In this video, we're going to look at the NOR gate problem. So NOR gate is an OR gate with a NOT gate after it. So first, we're going to have to learn what is an OR gate, and then we can combine the OR gate with a NOT gate, and that will give us a NOR gate. All right, so let's go and take a look. All right, so here's, an, here's a symbol for an OR gate, and then an OR gate has two inputs. If either of them are one, then the output is also one. All right, so let's draw that in. We've got two inputs, um, which will be have A and B, and we'll have an output called out. All right, and we'll have a truth table. All right, so as before, these are all the possible values of A and B, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Right, so an, an or A is one if either A or B or both are one. So here A and B are zero, so it's zero. Here A is one, so we know it's one. Here B is one, so we know it's one. Here A and B are both one, so it's one. All right, so that's an OR gate. And then in Verilog, we write Veri uh, an OR gate using this symbol. So we could have, for example, a sign out equal A or B. I forgot to mention before, uh, in Verilog, all the statements have to end in a semicolon. You've probably discovered that already. Uh, but anyway, yeah, they have to end in a semicolon. All right, so this is the symbol for an OR gate in Verilog, this, uh, like a pipe symbol. Uh, this is just above the return key on the right-hand side of the keyboard. All right, so this is an OR, and we already did a NOT, so the NOT just does the opposite of word that whatever you put into it. And then a NOR gate, yeah, this is an OR gate. And then a NOR gate is an OR followed by a NOT. So we can do that a couple of ways. So we could take an OR and then we can copy an, a NOT after it, right? So that technically is a NOR. And uh, so let's say, let's get, let's get A and B. All right, so this, this whole thing is, is basically equivalent to an, an, a NOR gate. And we, in Verilog, we could write that assign out equal so we have to do, we're going to do A or B, and then we're going to put that in brackets. So the brackets means we do everything in the brackets first, and then we not that. Okay, so this code here, this Verilog, this says not A or B, and this diagram is showing not A or B. However, in the diagram, we can make this diagram simple. This little circle here, this signifies the not. So actually, to draw a, a NOR gate, we simply can take this and we can put a little circle after it. All right, so this is a NOR gate. All right, so these two diagrams are equivalent. They're exactly the same circuit. All three things here, this di top diagram, this Verilog, this bottom diagram, these are all exactly the same thing. These are all showing a NOR gate. All right, so a NOR is just an OR followed by a NOT. We normally would represent the NOT just as putting the circle at the end uh, after the OR symbol. Uh, we could do a truth table for a NOR using the knowledge that we already have. All right, so if we do A or B, like this is A or B, right? When either A or B are one, A then A or B is one, all right? And then let's add another column after that for not A or B, which is nor. Not A or B, so this is nor, right? So basically this is not A or B. So basically A or B is zero, so not A or B is one. A or B is one, therefore not A or B is zero. And then if we look, at the actual A and B. So basically, if A and B are both zero, then A nor B is one. Everything else is zero. Cool, all right, so I think that you've got everything you need to do this task here, implementing the NOR gate. So the task is, uh, right, so you've got two inputs, A or B, You've got an output called out, and you have to set the output to be 
A nor B here. All right, so we'll go to the pause slide. All right, so now you can go ahead and do the pause the video, do the problem. All right, so I'm going to assume that you've either done the problem or attempted the problem and decided to look at the solution or you just wanted to see the solution. Uh, so in this case, so let's just remind ourselves. So we've got this module, it's got two input ports. It's got one output port and we basically need to make the output equal to A nor B, which is basically exactly what we had uh, here. Our assign out equal not A or B. So we're simply going to do assign out equal not A or B and then we'll submit that. All right, so we've got the success. And then if we look at the chart, uh, we, can, we should see that only when A and B are both zero that the output is one. So here A is zero, but B, oh, so here A and B are both zero, the output is one. And here A and B are both zero, and the output is one. All right, so that's what we found in that truth table. Cool, all right, so that's the end of null gate. All right, so if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments. If you've got any comments, suggestions, ideas, please put those in the comments too. If you like the video, hopefully you do. Uh, please hit like. If you don't like, please say in the comments what you didn't like or would like to do differently, etc. Um, please consider clicking subscribe and I will hopefully see you in the next video.